So the second aspect of the net energy measurements is to get estimates of values for fast angle production. A very popular technique that was used in the past was uh, consisted in measuring heat production at variable ME intakes and extrapolating the heat production for zero ME intake. So you get a so-called regression uh, heat production uh, which corresponds to the fast angle production. That is illustrated on that uh, figure for cars which were fed different energy levels. But for these cars, if we also measure their fast angle production during the trial, you can see that the fast angle production that is directly measured on the animal first is much higher than the fast angle production obtained by the regression method and is also variable. It is as high as the feeding level is high, which means that overall the heat increment which we are looking for is dependent on the technology or the method we use for e evaluating fasting in production. Clearly, the best estimate is obtained uh, according to actually measured fasting in production, and the so called regression fasting in production is producing an estimate of the fasting in production which is about almost meaningless, and which means that the heat increment obtained according to that methodology is also meaningless. So, that technology is used uh, the, uh, with variable ME intakes, but I think, I am pretty sure that it shouldn't be used anymore in the future since it provides very strange data, uh, meaningless data. The second method uh, for fast heat production is to measure directly the, the heat production on animals. I will not detail all these aspects, but uh, that should be done very carefully. Uh, by taking into, ac into account the duration of the fast, uh, the physical activity of the animals, and the different calculation methods, and so on. But some data are available now, and there is no problem for that. But one further question when we talk about uh, fasting in production is the way of its expression. Usually, in the past, fasting in production was considered as relatively constant per unit of metabolic body weight. The metabolic body weight being historically considered as body weight with a 0.75 exponent, which means that the fasting reproduction was proportional to body weight 0.75. But clearly, all literature data from over obtained over the last uh, 30 years, or 20 years at least, uh, indicate that the so-called metabolic body weight 0.75 is no more applicable to growing animals. It is okay for adults, but not for growing. And for instance, that figure shows that uh, it could, it should be something like 0.70 in broilers. We have shown as well that it is something equivalent 0.70 for turkeys, but it should be something equivalent to 0.60 for pigs, and it is even much higher 0.85 for veal calves. So uh, fasting reproduction in growing animals is not any more proportional to body weight 0.75. And I think there is some, uh, there is a lot of information now providing fasting reproduction values for growing animals, and these values could be used in the future.